hi guys so this is Radhika here again um, before you watch this video I would highly suggest you watch the video in which I uh, describe what happens when uh, uh, you or we are near a narcissist or a narcissistic situation or what happens when we are reliving those situations uh, if you have PTSD um, yeah and uh, a disclaimer again i am not a doctor uh, i'm not in the medical profession i'm an engineer by profession uh, so all of the things i'm sharing with you is uh, from knowledge that i have gathered over the internet and um, uh, it's just some things that i do and i try to cope with uh, narcissistic situations and also to lower my blood pressure because I had a I got a blood pressure problem because I was in a narcissistic situation and under stress um, for a prolonged period um, so yeah so basically if you saw the previous video uh, we ended on um, like we understood what is the um, what is the autonomic nervous system which basically controls a lot of the organs in the body uh, it has two parts the sympathetic nervous system which is the fight or flight response and the parasympathetic nervous system which is the rest and digest part of the nervous system so um, we ended on the note in the last video that uh, the parasympathetic part of the nervous system is controlled by one uh, one nerve which runs from the brain all the way to uh, down the spine um, so uh, this vagus nerve can be stimulated in different ways uh, when you are in a particular situation and what this will do is it will uh, trigger the parasympathetic part of the nervous system and slowly the sympathetic part of the nervous system will slow down uh, so in this way you can bring yourself from the fight or flight mode to the relax and digest mode okay um, so yeah uh, let's go towards the strategies so the first one is uh, it's a little weird but it is very easy also and no one will know you're doing it um, so it is generate more saliva okay because in the in the sympathetic nervous system your salivary glands they they clog up okay so they don't generate saliva because you're not going to fight and flight fight and flight and eat at the same time okay you are in a stressful mode so the salivary glands they clog up so what you can do is when you are in that situation you can just try to produce saliva okay i think we all did it as kids and um, just for fun so what you can do is close your mouth and just like push your tongue against your closed mouth in and out you know you make that sound right there's some sound that comes inside you, others won't be able to hear it if you do it slow enough but slowly saliva it will start producing saliva in your mouth and when the saliva is in your mouth keep it there and let your tongue just rest in saliva just let it you know it's kind of like when you see something very tasty or when you smell something very tasty the salivary glands automatically start releasing saliva and suddenly your mouth is full of saliva and you'll do that slurp kind of a thing so do that try to do that okay try to be in that space where you're smelling something which is delicious you know although i know it's very hard to do it but these are physical triggers that you can do which will save your body all these bad diseases okay so yeah try to do that if you can uh, this is the first way okay uh, generate saliva and then you can play around with that saliva in your mouth the second way is uh, you can eat a lemon uh, a tamarind or anything that's tart you know that that vinegar or something like that that can get the saliva going just have like a spoon or a 
a little bit of lemon or something like that. Um, third thing is if you know you are going to be in such stressful situations uh, this might also apply for office work if you have a presentation to give maybe not a narcissistic scenario but even when even in those situations this uh, sympathetic nervous system does get triggered and if you eat a lot during those times it will be hard to digest that food because you are in you are in like a heightened state of you know security that will i do good will i not do good will i be okay will people will my presentation work will my demo work so you will be in all that kind of a stress mode so it's better to eat very light you can eat salads or sandwiches or fruits or um moong dal khichdi or something like that very light don't eat heavy things at the time um that was point number three point number four is you can chant so you can do a chant like om mani padme hum you can do om 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 or whatever like if you if you whatever you want to do you can chant you can hum so you can hum a song like so you basically all this tells your body that this person is relaxed he's at, he or she is at ease okay so you can hum something or you can sing if 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 like no one's around you and or if even if people are around you and you want to sing you can just sing um number 5 is take a breath a deep breath and when you are breathing in count till 5 in your mind so when i'm inhaling i will count and similarly when you're exhaling count okay so when i'm inhaling maybe i'll count till 5 so like this okay so i inhaled and i counted till 5 and when i exhaled i again counted till 5 so even when you are around a narcissist you can do these things and the narcissist doesn't have to know like they can keep on talking 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 or doing whatever they are doing and you be doing these things and you don't have to tell them and do it you you just keep on doing them yourself okay um point number 6 is uh, you can drink ice cold water uh it really helps keeping your body temperature down you can submerge your face in really cold water or you can have a cold shower okay so all these things will help you keep your body temperature down and uh, suddenly your uh, sympathetic nervous system will switch off okay because you will relax you will relax um point number 7 eat microbes which are good for your gut so bacteria which is good for your gut so you will find this in fermented things like uh if if you are indian uh you must be eating dosas idlis uh vada all these things uh they have they have bacteria which is good for your gut uh you can eat yogurt kombucha kimchi so anything that is fermented um and sorry if i don't have any uh, meat options i i don't eat meat so i would not know uh like what what are some of the things in meat that you can eat for this um point number 8 is eat things that promote keeping your body temperature down okay like which keeps your body in uh, a cooler state so things like yogurt buttermilk milk water watermelon melons any kind of melon musk melon honeydew melon um mint uh, rose leaves so um uh, the rose leaves you can mix it in sugar and you can eat that uh ruavsa 
if you are indian you might know it's like a it's like a rose syrup that you add in milk or you can add it in cold water and drink it um along with this there's kokum you can drink kokum is i don't know we we used to get it in india i don't know if we can get it in wherever you are watching this um but yeah even tamarind tamarind water like tamarindo which is made in uh, like mexico you can look up that recipe online even that helps keep the temperature down um point number 9 is have more zinc zinc the mineral zinc in your food uh, so this mineral again i have some vegetarian options sorry if you are non vegetarian i don't eat it so i don't know but you can google it and i'm sure there is a lot of non vegetarian options too so um food that has a uh, good amounts of zinc in it is uh, pumpkin seeds garbanzo beans or chana cocoa powder cashews yogurt mushrooms spinach okay so point number 10 is meditation so i know meditation is free it's it's very important but i know a lot of people are very busy in their lives so it's hard to meditate but i would say if you can just give yourself 10 minutes in a day to just sit and not do anything just just breathe in breathe out and watch all your thoughts you don't have to stop your thoughts you just have to watch your thoughts the only thing you have to do is not react to them so if you have a thought let it go let it come and let it go don't react on it don't think what is the next step that i should do on that thought so that's meditation and point number 11 is sleep and relaxation so you need to get some good sleep and uh, try to relax whenever you have the time try to make time for yourself go out to a spa get a massage do something that is for you and your body um yep so these were all my points so i hope this helps you in some way and if it does please do write and comment below and if you have some other strategies to deal with this do write do write that too because it helps anyone who's reading this um so yeah that was it i hope uh, you all are doing well and i wish you all a lot of love and a lot of light thank you bye